Good morning guys and yes it is time for the yes another theme park worldwide vlog and here we are at the Walt Disney Studios in Paris for the opening day of Ratatouille the adventure. <laughs> We're also with someone a little bit different in the vlogs today with the one and only Mr. Alex Crumb. Hey, how are you Alex? How are you doing? You're right. looking forward to the ride? Yeah definitely. It has been his first time at Disneyland Paris as well. Disneyland Paris, yeah. um, so it's his second day today still got quite a lot of the attractions to try for the first time. We're going to be spending quite a bit of the day in the studios today obviously it is the opening day of this new attraction. We've been waiting for it for four years. The studios remains open until 9 p.m. Um, from tonight for quite a few times as well. Uh, so it's great, yeah, this is gonna be it, right to the adventure. First time riding this, not watch the POV, uh, what was released from the previews. And of course, we're gonna head straight there now. Um, yeah, really, 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 really excited for this. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you. That's it, and we're off. So that's a little bit of a run. I don't think we've done too bad at where we are in the queue, considering it goes right back to there, and it probably goes for a lot further, all the way right around here to where we are, and then we've got to go to where Buzz is there, where the entrance is to uh, uh, the area, which is Plaza de Remy. Which basically a plaza area with a fountain in the middle. Are you excited, Alex? I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah, we're really close now. And, uh, really, yeah. You know, you can see the Toy Story area, you know, it's just around the corner from that. It is not far. Obviously, the first time stepping into this area since four years ago, um, where they first put down a few benches, a few lights, and started to create the Parisian street. Um, so we knew Ratatouille was going to come. And this is it. Here we go. They're not letting anybody through at all. You know, it's been very walk. well managed. People, you know, obviously when 10 o'clock comes and all the other attractions open, um, everybody would be allowed up here, but they've kept this path completely for people who want to go and ride the new attraction, which is very good management, actually. Very, very good. This is it. We're about to be let into the plaza, so I'll uh, show you as we go down. Nervous and excited feeling at the moment. Nervous, not because it's a big thrilling ride. Nervous because I know how much stuff has been put into this and uh, obviously watching everything being built. I've been here six times over the past four years watching this thing being built and I'm about to ride it. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Four years waiting to go down here and see this. This is it. Right to the adventure. Woo! Here we are. Hey. The holy religious floor. This is it, where we walked four years ago when all this was put in. And we knew that this was gonna happen. Look at this already. This is the most immersive area of the studios. Wow, there's the stage for the opening ceremony. Oh, wow, this is great. Wow, look at this. Oh, I've actually got shivers down me. Ceremony coming up. Brilliant, man. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome on the Place de Remy, a very Ratatouille-like version of Paris. Our dedication ceremony for our new attraction, Ratatouille, l'aventure totalement toquée de Remy, will begin in a few minutes. Thank you. Oh, 
de notre nouvelle aventure sur les parcs de Walt Disney Studios. Ratatouille, l'aventure totalement toquée We saw a little bit of footage of that. We were treated to the official opening announcement, which we didn't really understand because it was in French, of course. Um, but here we go, we're going in. Oh my god, this is it. Here we go. Oh my god, oh my god. This is gonna get crazy. glasses on. <laughs> Obviously this is a 3D attraction, but we wear the glass if you didn't know already. I've been raving on about it for a couple of years that it is. It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? The theming was just been theming. You saw a few little shots there of the queue line. Very, very nice. This is obviously where you collect your glasses, which we have done. So I don't think it'll be long until we get onto the station. <laughs> So we've just come out of Ratatouille the Adventure. Well, after waiting a very, very long time for that ride, I can definitely say um, it's one of the best rides I've ever ridden. It's a fantastic dark ride. The quality of the 3D in there is absolutely phenomenal. It's one of them rides you can watch. Uh, I would say, you know, when a POV goes online the channel, you can watch it, but it won't do that justice at all. You've got to be sat on it. You've got to feel... Uh, the the smell. Yeah, you've got the smells if you go into the fridge. The wind effect as you're in the fridge, it goes cold. you got the oven in there uh, where you really, really hot, really good effects. Uh, and it's not just like a, a 3D ride. They've got a lot of massive theming items in there as well. Like you go through the pantry, uh, you got loads of, absolutely really, really good. There's a lot more theming in there than I thought there was gonna be actually. Um, I thought was it, it worth the wait? Definitely worth the wait. <laughs> Very good attraction. Uh, it's turned out just how I imagined it actually. When, when they first announced it, this is how I thought it would feel. 
uh, and it's lived up to expectations definitely it's a very good ride and of course it's not just about the ride inside it's about this beautiful area I mean you know this is definitely one of the most immersive areas out of both parks in Paris I mean we're even restricting people coming onto this plaza because it's that busy and that calls for another ride yeah. so we just had another ride on Ratatouille that's two rides in total uh, absolutely it just gets better doesn't it every time this whole area is absolutely beautiful uh, and of course you've got the restaurant over there uh, Bustery Show I mean um, but I won't talk too much about that because we're actually going to be eating in there for dinner later on Ooh. in this vlog which is going to be very nice we made a reservation so we're now going to leave this area straight into Toy Story Playland for the past four years I've been looking over a gate which was on here looking into that now we're on the attraction absolutely amazing I don't want to go oh honestly it's beautiful <laughs> Um, we're going to another immersive area now and we're going to ride RC Racer and this is Alex's first time on this is it your first time on a half pipe coaster? first time on a half pipe there you go so let's go on I'll let you know what he thinks when we come off honestly that area though what are we thinking about dinosaur not something you see every there, day oh there you go there he is Rex. Right, Rex how's he doing? let's go on RC Racer half pipe coaster by Intamin <laughs> woo oh Ratatou Twilight Zone Tower of Terror now, it's his first ever time, even though he's been to Orlando, he's never been on the Hollywood Town Hotel, which he's now about to ride. Hi. Horrible. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. atmosphere anything. My favourite dark ride. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, obviously Alex's first time on that. How was it? I hate you. He was holding on to the handrail what's at the side and the seat in front doing that. He was like, when's the drop? Do we drop? Do we drop now? Or how many how many shows did we drop? When do we drop? I had to ask questions because I didn't know it. Oh but no, I'm proud of him going on. It's if you're not used to like your big fast intense scary rise. It is quite an intense one. For me, it feels like frog off. But it's not a case of dragging me on there. It's a case of what you're taking me on now, which is my, like my biggest fear ever. He doesn't like launch coasters, but we're going on rock and roll coaster by Aerosmith or Avec Aerosmith. And um, well, basically, this is my favourite roller coaster uh, at Disneyland Paris. Um, it's, a, it's close between this and Space Mountain. I mean, sometimes I say Space Mountain, sometimes I say this. Well, today it's going to be this because this is rock and roller. And this is fantastic. Alice is going to love this. It's basically, it's a lot different to the one in Florida if you've been on that. And that's all based on sort of travelling to the party. Say you're in a limo and stuff. Whereas this one, you're actually at the party um, and you're in the actual CD player, so to speak. Um, and then you, you're on that basically, the, the, the purple train that you can see there on the poster. So we're going on. This is great. It's got, I love lighting. You love lighting as well. Like it's got, wait till you see the lighting inside this. Let's go on, I'll show you a little bit inside the station. Beautiful lighting, beautiful effects, and of course, an awesome ride manufactured by Vekoma. And, and a scared rider. 
You can love it. What, what I say to her, I say this to any of you guys who aren't sure on big rides, try it once, if you don't like it, you never have to do it again. Rock and roller. Some rock and roller coaster then. Didn't get time to show you the station because we're on that quick. What do you think? Brilliant. I really enjoyed it. I was, I was so nervous at first in the launch. I was like, please don't count now, please don't count now, please don't count as it goes. Uh, it's so. very good. I mean, you know, it, the audio is so loud in the back of the seat as well, which is very, very good. Then we're going to go and do Armageddon now, which is probably, in my opinion, the worst attraction at Disneyland Paris out of both parks. What should we go and do motor show? We'll do Armageddon. Do Let's Armageddon, do it because basically it takes you through a 20 minute pre show, which is absolutely boring. And then you go into the thrill bit, which lasts about two minutes, but it's quite good. But it's got to be done. Obviously, Alex hasn't done it. I've only done it about three times because I just don't go on it. Last time I did it was a couple of years ago, I think. And obviously, I do come here probably every six months or so. It was a very good attraction. And the lighting and everything, the music, it just like Brilliant, takes isn't it? your mind off the actual scare factor of it. And the inversions are quite intense as well. The first inversion, very good. So we're going to go inside the arm again, which is basically shows you about special effects, but the pre show is just the, so boring. I love Paris too. She loves Paris, we all love Paris. Arm again. As you just saw there, we're about to go on the Studio Tram Tour. Behind the magic. This is basically a tram tour, it does what it says on the tin. It takes you around, you got your standard scenes in here. Um, Catastrophe Canyon, of course, which is on every version of this, what was around the world. It's, just trying, it's a nice ride, nice relaxing one. Not one of my favourites, but it's alright. We decided against doing um, Armageddon. Didn't yeah, yeah. Because it was too. We thought the pre-show would be too boring, so we thought. Yeah, We yeah. don't want to stand there for 20 minutes doing nothing. Yeah, it is boring. It's valuable part time going. It is. Valuable ride time. So now we have just waited 25 minutes for the tram tour. Yeah, but you know, it's a nice little. You know, you're not gonna stand up watching a boring show, you know, all day. Oh. Right to TBH. We're gonna go on there in a bit after this, aren't we? We're going to have a new go. That's what we'll do, yeah, we'll go to Rat 2. Have some food. Have some food. I need some food. Yeah. I might get some from Studio One, actually. If it were, if, if you Let's added, go on board and have a look. They also added the story's biggest stars. The dinosaurs. Si vous êtes déjà impressionné par la grandeur de ce plateau, imaginez un peu les loges des dinosaures. Do, the physical effects department goes to work to create fire, explosions, and rain. rides while we've uh, not been vlogging. We also went back down to the hotel, popped down there, had a little rest. Also went down to um, Val de Europe, which is a big shopping centre close to the park. Not been there for quite a few years. Uh, so we went down there. As you can probably tell by the music in the background, it is now time for Disney Magic on Parade. Here it comes. Alex is excited and he even got his tripod. Hey, you ready for the parade? Ready, I'm ready. Woo! Time Disney Magic on Parade. Clap along if you know it.
the Dizzy Magic on Parade, absolutely awesome. Really, really love that. Love the soundtrack, love the costume. Fantastic. Mickey above everybody else there, right where he should be. Back in uh, Walt Disney Studios now, did you enjoy the parade? Yep, brilliant. Floats are great, aren't they? Really, we do really good. Coaster now. Yeah, and I've got to be honest, they, uh, they really do look after, you know, people with learning disabilities, disabilities, anything like that, any sort of limitations, they really do look after people and cater for Fantastic. them. Fantastic, and it basically means we don't have to queue, doesn't it? Well, you know, that's nice, you know, but the, the staff are really friendly to you as well and really helpful. And we don't have to queue. That's, that's your... I'm right to his opening. That's <laughs> a good point. Oh. Yeah, knocked into you by Brolly. Chris's view. coaster, by the way, you might look a little bit different than when you were last saw it in the vlog, because this brand new entrance has gone in literally a couple of weeks ago. Um, basically, you might remember the entrance used to be just here. Um, yeah, so that they moved that due to how busy this ride gets. So we're going on Chris's coaster, show you a bit inside. Makes a change coming up to these bushes and not uh, having to peek over them. We're back in. Looks a bit quieter down here, actually. Love this, absolutely love it. Do you enjoy Crush's Coaster? I did, yeah. Uh, Fantastic, isn't it? What do you think of it, the theme and overall experience? It was brilliant, yeah, it's different, especially like, you know, with it being a bit darker. You know, it's nice. It's sort of like, um, for those like UK theme park fans, if you imagine Sonic Spinball, it's basically Sonic Spinball the dark with actual theming. It is, it's got a lot of theming. But nothing on this little beauty down here. Let's see what the main queue is, even though obviously we'll be entering via the disability entrance. Good shot. Love it. The single ride is 80 minutes. What did I say it was going to be when we walked in? You did say 80 80. Minutes. So we're going to enter this. And then after that, we're going to be heading into this Troy Shell Ami, where we're going to be enjoying our evening meal for tonight in the wonderful new restaurant. Let's go. Back on right to the adventure. Opening day, 2014. So we're now inside the station area for Ratatouille the Adventure. Here it is. Woo! Woo. Yeah, back on. It's our third go today. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this ride. So obviously it uses a trackless ride system. Uh, as you can see by one of these cars just here. Um, each car can seat six people. Uh, which is very, very good. Pretty roomy the cars, aren't they Alex? Pretty yeah, roomy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what it does, they actually run in sets of three. Um, so this car here will join up with another set of two, obviously because we're in the disability bay. Um, but down in the usual bays down there, uh, three cars will line up in one station here. Then there's another station over at the other side uh, where three cars will also join up, uh, making a total of six cars. So it's got a pretty good throughput. I've not worked out the throughput on it yet. Um, but obviously it is the opening day. Before the end of this trip, I'll tell you the exact throughput. Um, but yeah, it's very, very good. Obviously you've got the operating panel, but you can see just here as well. And that sort of tells obviously the op where all the cars are. It's very nice that you can see it from here actually, which is cool. Um, but yeah, it goes through lots of awesome scenes. Uh, quite a lot of it is in 3D, but you've also got quite a lot of uh, big scenery items as well. But that's enough of me telling you about it. Come along for the journey. Um, let's go and have a look on Ratatouille the Adventure here at Disneyland Resort Paris. Fantastic ride, well worth the wait. <laughs> Fantastic ride there on the attraction. As you can see there, really, really good immersive ride. We're now going to try out the brand new restaurant. Every day today, this Joy says I mean. And this looks very, very nice. I've got plenty of footage in here. And of course, review the food, show you what's on the menu as well. Ooh, let's go, are you excited? Yeah. 
Ten a time. Go. Where are we, Alex? I don't know what it's called. Bistro Cherami. Bistro. What? <laughs> My French is amazing. What, what Look is at it the called? Bistro Cherami. Bistro. Bistro Cherami. Bistro. Bistro. <laughs> I'm English, I don't know. <laughs> so am I. Look at the theme in. So we've got these nice Christmas lights with which are actually massive. You probably can't get the scale on a camera, but they are obviously it's meant to be like you're shrunk down. Look at the on the bean key sale. This is beautiful. Money it's cost the so far it's worth it, definitely, isn't it? It is, I Obviously, mean, food is it's the, the most, one of the most premium restaurants in the whole of Disney. I mean, it is probably the most expensive restaurant out of both parks, even Waltz, um, but it's worth it. I mean, look at it. And they can't really see too much because this restaurant is massive, so I'll take you for a bit of a tour uh, after we've had some and food. Staff are friendly, they come and talk to you. It's very, very good. And also deal with funny requests like what I just asked as and well. What I've just asked for milk. <laughs> he asked for milk. I asked for milk, why not? And I asked for basically, can I have fries instead of a, something else French, what it came with? <laughs> it's going to be good. Remy. They did Ratatouille, you zero. <laughs> uh, yeah, what would you what, say? What you had and what would you rate it? Okay, basically? so for a starter, I had bread. Bread <laughs> and the salad. Little chunks of bread because I was too keen on the uh, salad. Same salad. goes for me with that one. I'm not really a salad person, are we? No. But still, I had a little bit. Uh, for a main, I had a lovely big piece of steak, which I expected should be tiny, but you know, it was a good for the price. A relative piece and a lot of chips as well, yeah, or French fries. And lots of French fries, which is good. It came with a speciality sauce, I didn't have that myself. And a ratatouille as well. We won't tell you what a ratatouille is, you've got to come here and try it, but it came all main meals. And then for a pudding, I had a bit of chocolate cake, but I was a bit too full. And I had this mousse, which was nice. And I drank five glasses of milk. Five glasses of milk, I've had a Coke. So basically, and I, I had a, a, a really nice bit of cod. Um, expecting it is beautiful. a posh restaurant, but the food is cut brilliant, they'll cut the steak. Very before. nice. 40 euro all in uh, for everything that I had there. So the main meal, starter, dessert, and one drink as well. 50 for me because obviously I had the extra drinks. Some milk. Very, very good. I think we're going to go back on the attraction again now. But really, really recommend. If you come here to Disneyland, it's, I've eaten most of the restaurants here over the 10 years I've been coming. Uh, 12 years, sorry. Uh, and yeah, this is probably my favourite meal I've had here. I just love the atmosphere of this restaurant. Uh, talking of atmosphere, here's a few shots around the restaurant that I took a few minutes ago. Enjoy. Best Drew's trying to meet. I can't believe we're still walking around Walt Disney Studios at this time. I mean, it's nearly nine o'clock. This is great. It really feels now. I've been coming to this park since it first opened uh, over 10 years ago for the studios. It had three attractions in here. That was the tram tour, flying carpets, and of course, rocking. And there's a few other things in here, like, obviously like Armageddon and that. Um, but yeah, I can't believe we're actually walking around here at this time of night. Hope they do that over Christmas as well. I'm sure they will, because it's busier over Christmas than it is in the summer here. Um, but yeah, going on my last ride for this park now, which is going to be Twilight Zone. Alex is going to be leaving us for tonight, yep, okay. but never fear because as you can see by the length of this vlog, it doesn't end uh, after tonight because I am going to be vlogging Saturday, big Saturday this weekend. It's the first uh, day of the French holidays for summer, so it's going to be a busy day on Saturday, uh, but it's going to be a good day, of course. But I'll continue vlogging for the night. I'm going to head over to uh, Disneyland Park after having to go on the beautiful Hollywood Tower Hotel. I'm going to do some classics like Space Mountain, Big also Thunder. Some uh, Park Asterix videos. Yes, you're going to go and check out because obviously we're doing Asterix on Sunday, which will be another vlog, which is going to be great. And of course, we're going to Paris tomorrow, 
um, which is going to be absolutely awesome. I think you've chosen the perfect time to announce the newest vlog that you are, have just uh, arranged with me today, and that is going to be Monday. And what are we doing on Monday? Monday? I don't know. What are we doing? Oh, come on. <laughs> Right. On, on Monday, uh, when we get back to the UK, we are going to be doing a vlog in London. So Basically a London vlog. Never done it before, but we're going to go and do all the London attractions. Like the Eye, Madame Tussauds, Sea Life. We've got the full day. We've got about 15 hours in the city, which is going to be great. I said to him, you know, it would be a good time to, you know, do it whilst you're actually there. Okay, the weather, we don't know what the weather's like back home because we haven't really spoken. Alex, <laughs> can you hear that? <laughs> what is it? Sounded like a cable snapping from a lift. Oh, wait. Stay back, stay back. I think I've worked out what that strange noise was. Coming from this hotel, I'm just going to go and check it. So it looks like uh, that's a wrap there from Walt Disney Studios today. Uh, the latest this park's ever actually been open to the public. 9pm, uh, I mean, fantastic. It really is a true second gate park. I mean, look at it, of course. Uh, it, it, it's just fantastic. I mean, we've had a full day in there today, me and Alex. Of course, you know, I've not done one ride today in, uh, in Disneyland Park. I've not even left uh, past City Hall, up Main Street. All I've been in there to see is the parade. I've been in there for the full day since 10 this morning. Um, it's now nine at night. And I feel like I've been fully immersed into the Disney magic. That park has come on so much over the years. And it's now home to loads of my favorite attractions. Tower of Terror, Ratatouille, Rock and Roller Coaster, Crush's Coaster. There's some great stuff in that park. Um, but yeah, re really good, really impressed with the new ride. It was absolutely- Hey, Firebomb, <laughs> theme park worldwide on YouTube. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, they wanted to be in the video. Bye! Bye. <laughs> love it, love it. Every time in these vlogs, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I'm now going into uh, Park Disneyland, which is open until 11 pm, of course. Look at this at night, beautiful. I'm going to head down there through the wonderful uh, golden arches into the park. Going to do a couple of rides now, a couple of night rides. And I've not really seen much of Magic Kingdom in this vlog. Uh, and that's just because we've been enjoying uh, Walt Disney Studios too much. Disneyland Park, very much like Magic Kingdom. I did just call it Magic Kingdom then, because it is their version of it, of course. And I'm looking forward to uh, visiting the Magic Kingdom in Florida, of course, later this year. And then uh, Disneyland in California, in Anaheim, which is gonna be absolutely awesome um, next summer, which is gonna be brill. Head into Disneyland Park, show you a bit when I'm going up the beautiful main streets, hopefully all the lights and stuff are on. It might not be just yet, it's starting to get dark but they definitely will be later for Disney Dreams. Rain's actually stopped as well, finally. Beautiful. Shame Alex isn't with us tonight to uh, experience it. Magical when coming into Main Street USA in the evening and seeing that. A shadow to the bad boy morns. Mission 2, soyez les bienvenus. Le vol d'aujourd'hui vous emmènera au-delà de la Lune, aux confins de l'univers. Pendant que nous affinons votre plan de vol, merci d'écouter attentivement les consignes de sécurité. Just 
look at it, beautiful. Space Mountain Mission 2. Fantastic, absolutely love that thing. I've been on it hundreds of times over the years since I was a kid. It's felt like my childhood ride, absolutely awesome. <laughs> but yeah, really good. It looks even better lit up at night, which is quite cool. I think then behind want to try and get in the vlog. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go back round again on that now a couple of times. Just gone 10 o'clock here in the park. Done loads of rides again today. I mean, uh, the vlog's not really showed everything that we've done today. We've done a lot of repeat rides and stuff. Obviously went down to the local shopping centre for a few hours as well, down in uh, Mount Lavelle and to Val de Europe, which is always worth the trip. It's not shopping is something what I wouldn't normally do on this trip, unless it's in a Disney shop. Because I've been here that much, we thought we'd go down and have a look. Obviously Alex needs a bit of rest as well on this trip. Oh, and look at the mountain, the full lights have just literally come on, look at that. Wow. Space Mountain, I love you so much. Back around again, I think. See you in five. Another amazing ride there on the mountain that is space. Disney on their mountains, they love them, don't they? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that thing looks amazing at night, look at it. Absolutely awesome. Uh, it's practically walk on the moment, which is great as well. Uh, actually, I might have another one. Yeah, well, I'm here, I'm gonna have another one, I think. Just double check, make sure the queue hasn't uh, substantially gone up a lot. Uh, however, however, it's a big thunder mountain, I think. Yeah, still five minutes. Back on Space Mountain Mission 2. Woo! Space Mountain! Whee! <laughs> that cast member loves his job. I love Disney. I could spend 365 days a year here, work here, and come here, I'd do it. So it was intended to be a couple of goes on Space Mountain, turning to six in about 25 minutes. <laughs> it's now half past ten, I've got half an hour until park closing time. And of course the nighttime spectacular Disney Dreams, which is held on the beautiful castle, La Chateau de la Bois If there's any French people that watch my vlogs, well I know there is because I spoke to quite a few of you today. Uh, it was great to meet you guys at the opening, by the way. Um, but yeah, I know I can't pronounce stuff very well in French. Um, but yeah, I have a go. <laughs> Going over to uh, Frontierland now. Going to BTM, the wonderful Big Thunder Mountain. It's been a great uh, half hour or so here in Discoveryland. It's been great. Woo! Be part worldwide on YouTube. Yeah. Love it. I don't know what she said, but someone comment below who can speak French and English. Just comment below and let me know what she said, because I would like to know. So yeah, we're going to Frontierland now. I'm going to go and ride Big Thunder Mountain a couple of times, hopefully. Just in time for the nighttime spectacular Disney Dreams. It's not very busy here today. Um, nearly 11 o'clock at night, park's pretty quiet really. Um, so normally you'd be waiting for Disney Dreams. This time last year, uh, when I was here with our friend Chris, we were waiting up to an hour and a half before to get a spot for Dreams. This time he just walked straight up five minutes before and there's hardly anybody waiting even at the front, mainly because a lot of people have seen dreams now, uh, and mainly because of the weather. I mean, it's not raining now, but obviously the ground's wet, people can't really sit down, so um, people that are here always rock up for the show later as well. So, oh, look at that, beautiful. So magical. I am looking forward to seeing what uh, Cinderella's castle is like over in Magic Kingdom. It looks very white. So that'll be interesting. Looks quite plain. Uh, much like the rest of the Magic Kingdom, actually, it does look quite plain in comparison. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, a lot of different attractions. Mainly looking forward to the other parts like Hollywood Studios, um, Everest, Epcot as well. Can't wait for Everest in uh, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> It'll be great. So nearly at Frontierland now. See you lot too. I mean, there's hardly anybody waiting. Look. Considering there's half an hour till the show. Hello to BTM, show you a bit over there. Come on for the ride if you like. I'm dead. Buy your light ears here today. Just 20 euro. Light ears are magic. Disney light ears.
Disney Dreams. That's it for another day here at the wonderful Disneyland Resort Paris. The opening day, the 10th of July 2014. That's always going to be a day that I remember. The opening day of Ratatouille, the adventure. Fantastic ride, a fantastic day. I've had four rides on the new attraction today. Uh, and that Disney Dream is my favourite nighttime show I've ever seen out of any theme park. Really just finish that off. Fantastic. Anyway, that's good night from me. I'll see you here again at Disneyland Paris on Saturday morning for another day. We're going to spend a lot of the day here in the Disneyland Park. It's going to be great. We're off to Paris tomorrow. Um, yeah, and that's all from me, Sean Sandbrook. See you on Saturday morning here at the wonderful Disneyland Paris. Night, guys. Have a good one. Magic. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.